Welcome back to another episode of Automotive Insight. Today's repair is a 2015 Buick Enclave with a 3.6 liter. Customer states the check engine light is on. After doing a code scan, it's got a P0496, which is EVAP flow during non-purge, which means that there's a vacuum being pulled on the fuel tank and the EVAP system without, without the computer commanding it on. So let's check it out. So I was messing around with this earlier. I set the P0443. It's got a code P0496, which is system flow during non-purge. To give an example of what the computer is seeing, we're going to monitor the fuel tank pressure sensor. That is what monitors the fuel vapor pressure inside the tank. It's got a sensor on top of it. Uh, so we're going to start it up and see what happens. We also have the purge still on the command to show it's 0%. With that 0, there's not supposed to be any vacuum to the tank. Uh, so let's start it up and see what happens. So right away, you can see it pulling a vacuum on the tank. And it's 0. So let's... Let's check out the purge valve. So the purge valve is in the engine compartment. That's usually where most of them are. Uh, first thing we'll do is we'll take off the engine cover. And the purge valve's right there. One of uh, probably the easiest ones to get to. We've got the engine running. We're gonna pull off the, the vapor line. That goes to the tank, and you can, sometimes it's bad enough, you can stick your finger over and feel a little bit of suction on your finger there. Just for information purpose, we're going to put a vacuum gauge on it. That purge valve is bad. It's probably got a tear in the diaphragm or the seal's not seated correctly, but we're going to replace it. So we already got our vapor line off. Next, we'll disconnect our electrical connector. And then we're gonna, there's a 10 millimeter bolt underneath here. And it should slide out. It's got an O-ring on it into the intake. So we got our new one from GM. We'll put a little bit of grease on the end of this to help. You gotta give him that hook to it. Got an engine cover back on. Got a new valve on. We're going to start it. And we don't have any vacuum pulling on the tank at the moment. So we're going to clear the codes and then we're going to do a self test on the EVAP system to see if it passes. Okay, to do an EVAP test, we've got to follow these procedures. All right, that's going to wrap up the Buick. Uh, we did a service bay test. It's a sequence of driving and idling to get it to pass the, uh, the service bay test and complete the monitor. Uh, but the monitor will also complete in a couple days. Uh, I'm pretty confident in this repair uh, because we was able to verify the issue and verify the fix. The customer wanted GM parts. So that's what we got. And it actually kind of cost about the same price. Uh, as aftermarket and uh, OE stuff. So the part cost about $50 and between Diag and, and installing it, you probably spend about an hour. But anyway, that's going to wrap this up. I may not have all your answers. Hopefully you had some. That being said, we'll see you on the next one. Said I'll pick you up and